every talent when offered to God for his glory is accepted in divine hands and anointed by the spirit of God and then is given back to us as a gift of the holy spirit to be used in the ministry of the Lord Glenn Larive is a gifted musician he was singing as the lead vocalist in the famous 13 AD rock group he was rising in name and fame it was then that he met the lord during our retreat and that personal encounter led him to a total surrender of his life and of his music music then became a sacred ministry for him filling him with the abundance of joy and peace leading many to the lord today he is joined by his wife teresa in god's mission for them in this album glenn is sharing his testimony along with the description of the music the youth today are exposed to and the dangers of being obsessed with negative music music indeed is a great gift God has given us to make us happy and to turn our lives heavenward but satan has sown the weed among the good seed as jesus wants us in matthew 13:25 today in fact the weeds are flourishing together with the good plants Glenn is telling us how to discern between the good and bad music. As we listen to this album, let us surrender our hearts and minds to God that we may receive the grace to reject the work of the evil one in us and in the world around. Let us all be protected by the precious blood of Jesus. sprinkled on us from calvary all glory and honor for him alone all good things come from god angel raphael one of the seven angels who stand ready and enter before the glory of god tells us In Tobit 12 verse 6 Bless God and acknowledge him in the presence of all the living for the good things he has done for you I take this wonderful opportunity to express my deep gratitude for this gift of music In 1 John 5 verses 19 to 20 we read We know that we are God's children and that the whole world lies under the power of the evil one and we know that the son of god has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true and we are in him who is true and his son jesus christ he is the true god and eternal life we will sing these words as a tribute to our god who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light
the Son of God has come To teach us understand His love That we would know that God is true the true God, this is eternal life. This is the true God, this is eternal life. I quote John 3:27 No one can receive anything except what has been given from heaven This makes music a gift from God Human beings have tried to explore this beautiful gift of God and have not seemed to get enough of it It has been described as a language that speaks to one's soul a subtle way of expressing a feeling that goes beyond the spoken word being a gift it could be used by us in any way we choose just as our life is a gift to be lived in the manner we choose but with the freedom comes judgment which determines our destiny having a taste of this gift that moves people and influences their lives I realized that God has a purpose for giving it to us to let our love flow hence 
Music can be described as a powerful media for communication since it can touch the sensitive areas in us. 1 John 4:16 tells us that God is love and his greatest commandment is to love. Therefore, anything done against love is a sin in God's eyes. Any musician having the welfare of music lovers in their mind would not promote sex, satanism, drugs and violence. Instead, they would help idolizing youngsters to build up a character, strong values and productive lives. I would like to quote some of the statements made by musicians of our times. Jim Morrison of the group Doors in 1967 who died due to an overdose of drugs revealed his attitude. He said, I am interested in anything that is about revolt, disorder, cares, especially activity that has no meaning. Freddie Mercury of Queen said that he was very emotional and may go mad in a few years. And he ultimately died of AIDS. Robert Hunter of Grateful Dead said, Destroy yourself physically and mentally and insist that all true brothers do likewise as an expression of humility. Ozzy Osbourne said, I am something of a madman. I can do nothing in moderation. If it's booze, I drink the place dry. If it's drugs, I take everything and then scrap the carpet for little crumbs. I took LSD every day for years. I was spending about thousand dollars a week on drugs. John Lennon of the Beatles said, Christianity will go away. It will vanish and shrink. I don't need to argue about it. I am right, right and will be proved right. We are more popular than Jesus Christ now. I don't know which will go first, rock and roll or Christianity. Please note that the Beatles discovered India and Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. He discipled them. They got into drugs, especially psychedelic drugs like LSD. Besides, the Beatles are no more, but Christianity still exists. Hallelujah! Now, I am not condemning these groups, but just pointing out the serious errors many have made. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 and 5 says, In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves, we proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus Christ. And these rock stars have millions of youthful fans hanging on every word they sing and just everything they do. Now I have nothing against rock music. Checking my own heartbeat set me thinking. This rhythm of life which keeps us going sounds like a slow rock beat. When this beat stops, we are not seen around anymore. Right through my days of music, starting off by singing in simple school competitions, I got opportunities to sing for groups and be in touch with the popular songs of the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s. I was also proud to be associated with a famed and talented rock and pop group called 1380 as their lead vocalist. 1380 was popular all over India. We were inspired to write our own songs which saw the release of two of our albums. This got us traveling around the country with promising offers from abroad and also visits to the Middle East. 1380 also sang songs for the film world. We came across people 
talking to us about the marked presence of occult in the music we performed. I also began to hear about backward masking, a phenomena which revealed the presence of hidden messages being transported through certain songs into the subconscious mind of an individual, unguarded in the truth and exposed to it. Though I was singing and exposed to music, categorized as music of the occult, I never recognized the danger in these things until I experienced freedom in Jesus and knew how it had bound me. With Jesus came the enlightenment. Now nightmares were a common experience for me. The feelings of hands on my neck, hearing and seeing horrible things brought fear into my soul. Even though I used to pray from a very young age, sin and perversion of the mind, an unhealthy outlook, wrong reasoning, selfishness, unforgiveness, self-pity, etc. were what I was built up of. When Jesus became a reality for me, the darkness and uncertainty of my mind vanished. I used to sing a song of the group Simon and Garfunkel, a song which is so popular called The Sound of Silence. In this song, the words go like this. Hello darkness, my old friend. I come to talk to you once again. 1 John 1, 5 says, God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. In other words, there is no true freedom where there is darkness. The truth is, Christ alone can penetrate the darkness. Even though we are slaves of sin, we pretend we are free. On a clear-cut message from the Lord to leave this music and enjoy His peace, I began my search which led me into an eternity of bliss with Him. There was an AD and a BC in my life. A contrast between my past and present experiences and interests. They were totally opposite to each other, the divider being my conversion. On questioning and praying and searching, I started getting the answers to questions in my inner being. It was very clear that the opposite forces to God's goodness were launched by Satan's thirst to be worshipped by mankind and hence lead us away from being children of God. The words of Jesus in Matthew 22:29 reveals that we go wrong because we do not have his word directing our lives and we do not understand the power of his word. Standing on the words of Jesus, we can discern Satan's work in this world, driving man to use God's gifts against God. In the Gospel of John, in chapter 8, verse 31 and 32, Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Having understood the basic teachings of truth, it was easy to see that musicians with talent were sitting ducks for Satan to establish his kingdom, especially among the youth. Jesus in the Gospel of John in chapter 17, verse 15 and 16 says, as he is praying to the Father in heaven, I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Let's then sing this now. Take them out of the world 
But I ask you to protect them from the evil one I'm not asking you to take them out of the world But I ask you to protect them from the evil Now, it is a shocking reality that groups like ACDC have songs titled Hell Ain't a Bad Place to Be In, Rock and Roll Damnation, Highway to Hell. This song, Highway to Hell, today totally is opposite to the holy highway spoken by Prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 35 8 to 10. God tells us, A highway shall be there, and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Now we will listen to what ACDC tells us about their highway, the highway to hell. The song goes like this. I'm on a highway to hell, don't stop me. I'm on my way to the promised land. Hey mama, look at me, I'm in a rockin' band. Hey Satan, pay my dues. I'm on a highway to hell. A Rolling Stones has a song titled Sympathy for the Devil, in which Satan speaks, revealing himself as Lucifer. He says, I was around when Jesus Christ had his moments of doubt and pain. I made damn sure that Pilate washed his hands and sealed his fate. Pleased to meet you. Just as every cop is a criminal, just like heads are tails, just like sinners are saints, call me Lucifer. The most popular song called Otel California 
sung by eagles again speaks about a dark desert highway opposite to the holy highway that leads to god it is about a man entering a satanic church where satanic rituals are in progress their other lyrics and the various other songs of theirs speak for itself the group's manager larry salters openly declares that the group's formation was inspired by a latin american sorcerer called carlos casadina and the group's members are in regular contact with the members of the satanic church in california their connection with the occult is so very clear bon jovi sings in homebound train when i was a little boy the devil took my hand took me from my home he made me a man i'm going down 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 on the homeward bound train One of the most popular groups in rock history is Slayer. Slayer sing of themselves as warriors from the gates of hell. They sing, In Lord Satan we trust. Now Slayer's albums sell in the millions. And song after song is praised to Satan. Their song, Hell Awaits, says, Jesus knows your soul cannot be saved. crucify the so called lord e soon shall fall to me your souls are damned your god has fell to slave from me eternally the supergroup metallica in the song jump in the fire commands its listeners to jump into hell they sing follow me now my child and then do just as i say and then again now it is time for your fate and i won't hesitate to pull you down into this pit so come on jump in the fire ephesians 6:16 says take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one In the Gospel of John in chapter 8 verse 44 Jesus tells us he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him when he lies he speaks according to his own nature for he is a liar and the father of all lies Eve disobeyed God only because she stopped and paused to listen to satan and so was exiled from paradise let this not happen to us the bible says as a man thinks in his heart so is he proverbs 23 verse 7 and since music is such a spiritual medium one that can pass the intellect and enter what is called the heart it has an even greater potential for persuasion maybe parents spend few minutes in a day speaking to their children now consider the average teenager listening to hours of rock music a day with probably a little tv video rock thrown in on the side we then can guess what would influence and lead him Romans 8:37 tells us that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Let this song speak to you.
You know today when I look back I know I'm a stronger person and there is a meaning in my life In the earlier days I was just stumbling I was not sure where I was going I was so insecure I was so indifferent God opened my eyes And today God has inspired me to speak about this so that you who listen to this tape will be inspired by the word of god and god will touch your life and god will change you now hotel california a song written by eagles as i mentioned is a well written song a lot of talent a wonderful voice a wonderful piece of guitar work which will attract you because of the beauty of that music now what is this song telling you A song has to tell you something. When you look into the lyrics of the song, there are many who do not understand the words of this song. They are just blindly singing the song. Now we are led from a dark desert highway into a place called Hotel California. You know, when I stumbled on the truth, it shocked me. It was believed that Anton Levy, a satanic high priest who led people into Satan worship, owned an hotel in California and when i looked into the words of the song i began to examine the song very closely i could see that a person is being led into a place in the hotel by a lady holding a candle in her hand there are many who pointed out to me that this candle is a black mass candle which is used in a satan worship session And so this lady leads him into a chamber in the hotel and when he is shown into this chamber he gets the shock of his life he sees mirrors on the ceiling champagne on ice celebration going on he sees beast being stabbed his first reaction is this he said i just wanted to get back to the place i was before he was running back and as he is running back the night watchman is telling him you can check out any time you like but you can never leave I did not understand these things. I was singing it every night. I understood these words, you can check out any time you like but you can never leave as in the United States there are churches for Satan. And when the people in the satanic church want to leave, they cannot leave. They are tracked down and killed. It also means this when Satan lures you into the pleasures of the world and into sinful acts you're bound by the pleasure that it has and you 
can never leave until you meet Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only Savior who can pull you out of darkness. You see, there are other songs which they have written. One song is called Witchy Woman. One song is called The Journey of the Sorcerer. They have lyrics sung like this, that the singer is searching for the daughter of the devil himself and that he is searching for an angel in white. Now Satan comes disguised as the angel of light and he deceives you. They also have an album called Hell Freezes Over and on the album you see a devil. You know today Satan is exposing himself more and more. You see his lot of evil pictures coming out on album covers, on CD covers and you see that he is moving faster than he was before. You look into all the music out there in the world today. Look at it through the eyes of the Holy Spirit. You will see that there is something wrong. People are driven more and more into sin, more and more into sinful deeds. It's only because they do not know where they are going. That is why God is asking us to be alert. We are surrounded by evil. What every soul craves for is God. And when the soul is disturbed by the negative forces influencing a person, he searches for God. In Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23, By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. The fruit of the evil spirit is just the opposite. Suicidal tendencies, depression, anxiety, hatred, murder, all these things are the fruit of the evil spirit. And today, today's music we see is leading people into aggression, into violence, into all sorts of things that cause disorder and disharmony in the world today. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 and 18 Therefore come out from them and be separate from them, says the Lord, and touch nothing unclean. Then I will welcome you and I will be your father and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. In Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 God says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We do not have God's protection if we are constantly exposed to things that displease God. In Psalm 91, we clearly see that we are protected if we know His name. Satan's works are very evident from the things that are happening around us. Man needs peace. And God is able to satisfy us. When man lives in sin, what comes out of his heart cannot be good because it cannot be led by the Holy Spirit. Today we have wonderful singers out there in the world. But when we look at their personal lives, we see there is so much of disorder and disharmony. Today we see that many of them are homosexuals and they do deeds that God has forbidden. They advocate sex, violence and drugs. When I was singing in the rock group, I could see that people had destructive mentalities. They destroyed furniture. They would burn up a place. They are filled with so much of hatred. All these qualities do not come from God. People come to me and ask me, how do I discern what is good for me or what is bad for me. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 33, Jesus tells us, The tree is known by its fruit. Check the fruit it produces and discern for yourselves. God in His infinite mercy has set a time for all things. Satan now stands condemned. In the book of Revelations, in chapter 14, verse 7, Fear God and give Him glory, for the hour of His judgment has come, 
and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. What man needs is peace. And when all that is there in the world disturbs him, he searches for something which will fulfill him. And Jesus Christ is the only one who can fulfill the deepest desire of our heart. Today, the whole world is searching for the truth. Singers are writing songs. Musicians are singing about a place called heaven. They are all searching for this place. Pink Floyd, the group who composes songs obsessed by drugs, are writing sad and depressed songs. They are singing, there are no answers here. When you come in here, you are in for good. Every person is looking for a place called heaven. And they do not know where to look for it. Now music is the gift of God which stirs the heart. Ungodly music stirs the negative emotions in our heart. And what surfaces from our heart are things which defile us. In the Gospel of Matthew, in chapter 15, verse 18 onwards, Jesus tells us, What comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this is what defiles. For out of the heart comes evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person. Jesus tells us in the Gospel of Matthew in chapter 6 verse 21, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So if you have treasured ungodly songs in your heart, check where your heart is. When I went for a retreat and I was singing holy and spiritual songs praising God, the love for God surfaced from my heart into my mind. I began to see what God expected of me. On the contrary, as an example, a boy went for a rock concert of Ozzy Osbourne, a person who openly does a lot of negative things on stage. He takes bats and chickens and tears it apart and drinks the blood. He does all kinds of gimmicks. He himself looks so evil. He has songs which sings about darkness. Now this boy went home and he shot his father dead. And when they questioned him, he said, I did not know why I did it. Now why did he do it? The explanation of his deeds could be this. He would have had something in his heart. Something in the, in the form of unforgiveness for his father. And when he was exposed to something evil in the music, it transformed his unforgiveness into murder. So you see the source is the devil and the outcome is murder. As Jesus describes it so beautifully, he is a murderer. So we see his deeds through music. It influences the lives of people. Today in the newspapers we see people going on rampages, young teenagers shooting people and killing them. And they derive pleasure out of these deeds. Who is behind all these deeds? It is Satan. And he is working powerfully through music. Because music is something which attracts people. It is a beautiful gift of God. This is his media. And this is how he is using music to destroy people. It was in the early 70s and 80s that back masking revealed that there was another set of lyrics when the songs were played backwards. And what was heard when the songs were played backwards was lyrics that glorified Satan. This proves that Satan's presence was so strong in the music. When songs were played backwards, it was clearly heard that Satan is God, Satan lives forever, my sweet Satan, I love you, it is not a coincidence because when most of the songs were played backwards, in some way or the other, Satan's name was mentioned. And even in Hotel California, when it's played backwards, you can clearly hear the words, Yes, Satan had them. He organized his own religion. Yeah, when he knows he shouldn't. Yes, it was delicious. He cooks it in a vat. 
he fixes it for his son which he gives away isn't it frightening to know that we are being subjected to these negative messages without even being aware of it so we know by what god speaks to us and what we come to understand from these experiments that satan is actively involved in bringing about a destruction to all mankind and just to give you a few examples of what i am talking about i'd like you to listen to these songs played forward and then backwards there are two such songs which i would like you to listen and know that there are many songs like this out there in the world today when played backwards give you very clear satanic messages this is called backward masking at this point of time i'd like to bring to you a song which was written by my friend john cordell and his friend many years back before jesus called him to work for his kingdom john is also playing guitar for the music tracks that we have on this album he is also helping us to record this for you now this is a song which he composed and played which was titled why and these are the few lines that we will play to you here are the lyrics i know the reason that we got to face this pain alone when i look into your eyes i see your heart that's made of stone i want to know the feeling what it is for you to stay the minute that i think of getting closer to you i see you slowly walk away now we're going to listen to the song played forward these few lines that i mentioned will be played to you Now listen to the same segment played backwards. What we just heard was this, O oh, E is the way, O oh, Satan lives forever. Listen to this one more time. Another song we would like you to listen to played backwards is of Motley Crue. The song is titled Till Death Us Do Part. Now listen to the same segment played backwards. Did you hear the words I am the beast? Let's play it again. Now this is called unintentional backward masking. You heard the song played forward which had another set of lyrics, but when the same song was played backwards, we could hear negative messages. Researchers suggest that such masking definitely involves the help of outside supernatural forces the content of such masked messages has always pointed to the forces of darkness and evil thereby making it obvious who the originator of the message is on the contrary we have gone through a lot of spiritual music played backwards this is one such hymn taken from isaiah 61 let's listen to this played forward you will be called priests of the lord you will be named the ministers of our god yes the same hymn played slowly backwards for you to hear the message i draw the strings in him you 
What we hear is this, our God has risen, in the end he will go to receive all people. Let's listen to this once again. Here Jesus is being glorified and we see it is the Holy Spirit at work. On the contrary, when we look at the other songs of the world, which we just heard. These are songs which were proclaiming and uplifting the name of Satan. And the spirit at work there is not from God. So I once again say to you, be on your guard, be alert. Satan is out to destroy you through the music. On the other hand, do you see the significance of the message, the first message that Jesus read out from the book of Isaiah from 61 in the beginning of his ministry in Luke chapter 4 verse 18. The message that we received when the song was played backwards was this, that Jesus has risen and he is coming to gather all his people. I want you to meditate on the words of Ephesians 5, 11 to 15 as we sing it for you. I'd like to repeat those words we sang. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. 
for it is shameful even to mention what such people do secretly. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Sleeper, awake, rise from the dead and Christ will shine on you. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time because the days are evil. Now I'd like to point out to you, not all are affected by music the same way. It all depends on the focus of the heart. In 2 Thessalonians, in 2 verses 3 and 4, Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first and the lawless one is revealed, the one destined for destruction. He opposes and exalts himself above every so-called God or object of worship so that he takes his seat in the temple of God declaring himself to be God. This scripture is pointing out to us that Satan's works will be exposed by light. As sure as Jesus Christ will come to save the world and the light that is coming into the world is exposing the works of Satan and today the world is seeing his works right before their eyes. We see in verse 9 of 2 Thessalonians, the coming of the lawless one is apparent in the working of Satan who uses all power, signs, lying wonders and every kind of wicked deception for those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason God sends them a powerful delusion leading them to believe what is false so that all who have not believed the truth but took pleasure in unrighteousness will be condemned. God is calling the faithful to him. And when Jesus Christ comes again, he will carry with him all those who have thirsted for God, all those who have been alert. All those who have kept themselves away from Satan's wickedness. Today in the world there are various types of music. We have music with different kinds of beats and rhythm. I believe that all the music that we have in the world, when it's used for the intention of worshipping Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, glorifying the Father and the Holy Spirit, will carry the anointing of God unlike the music influenced by the evil one. It's not the format of the song that matters. It is the intention of the heart behind the creation of that song. In Romans 8.28 We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. Satan is powerless before anointed music. We see the beautiful example of Saul being delivered in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 23. And whenever the evil spirit from God came upon Saul, David took the lyre and played it with his hand and Saul would be relieved and feel better and the evil spirit would depart from him. As it is mentioned in the gospel of John in chapter 1 verse 5, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. So Satan has no power when we get together and bring forth positive music from our hearts that desires God's presence. It is not only in the words that Satan carries himself. He carries himself also in the music played through instruments. It only proves the point that I have stressed earlier that it all depends on the intentions of the heart that creates the music. In Jesus name I pray for all my brothers and sisters and all musicians around the world who may not yet be enlightened by the revelations that has come through the Holy Scripture. And today I pray that music may be used as a powerful means of delivering each one, especially the youth, from the wicked ways of Satan. May the precious blood of Jesus cover each one of us, so that we may be protected from the powers of darkness at all times. Amen. Praise the Lord!